Maximum PC here at BlizzCon 2014. I'm here at Gigabyte's booth speaking with Leon. And Leon, uh, what are we taking a look at here? Well, Jimmy, right now we're looking at the newly, soon to launch, Rick's Gaming. Now, this is our i7 model. Some of your viewers might remember us launching an i5 model at PAX East during the month of April. Now, the i5 is in green, and we also have the i7 coming out, and it'll be in black. Now, this is running a GTX 760 uh, graphics processor inside. And what's interesting about it is that it's actually not a uh, mobile part. Correct. It's not a mobile platform. It's made for small form factors, all in ones, that kind of solution. Cool. And, and um, uh, considering that it's so small, uh, what do you have to say to people that, that think it might um, you know, overheat? Well, about overheating, we've been actually running it all morning. We run it at all the events we go to. You can actually feel it. Uh, maybe Jimmy can give it a touch and tell you guys how it feels on the side. So actually, right now it's actually not, it's not hot at all. Right. But also it's not under load though. It's not under heavy load. We've done this, uh, we ran Battlefield 4, we've done StarCraft on it, we put load on it. Of course it's going to get warm, but it's not going to be at the point where it burns your fingers or anything like that. Okay. So there's different fan curves we have set in the BIOS. So if you're looking for performance, you can bring that fan speed all the way up, or you can just choose a regular operational mode where it'll just give you that steady load. What are you guys doing for uh, the thermals? Are you guys doing anything there to like do um, like the, the heat pipes or anything like that? The heat pipes are definitely designed for the case. We've done a lot of innovation around the chassis itself to help dissipate heat on that. Gotcha. And I'm guessing uh, like like the other bricks boxes, um, you add your, your storage and, and RAM yourself? Right. So uh, we do have some models that don't carry a 2.5 inch drive, but all of the bricks units that you see here that today, they all require either a storage option or DDR3L memory. That's low voltage sodium memory. Okay. Is it, uh, is it like MSATA only for this one? Or? Some, this one will take MSATA as well as a 2.5 inch hard drive mechanical or SSD. Okay. And, uh, and pricing and release date? Pricing. Uh, so this one should be in the uh, 700s, high 700s, low 800s. This one's in the mid 700s. And depending on the promotion time, there may be expect to, to buy this? Most likely the end of this month, if not around December. Awesome. Thank you, Leon. Okay, sure, no problem.